Hello YouTube and welcome in this video. This is a Cummins ISB 6.7 and we're gonna go through all the emission system and it should be similar to the ISM and the IS6. By the end of this video, I have a good understanding on their uh, functioning and location. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start by um, just generally if you're new to it. Uh, the intake on this motor is on that side and the exhaust as you can see the turbo and exhaust are on the right side look from the back like you're sitting on the driver seat um, I'm gonna go ahead and start by the EGI cooler the exhaust gases um, are going through it they recycle through it and and its uh, job is to cool down them fumes before they go back around here all the way to the EGR valve. So what can go wrong with the EGR cooler is the antifreeze will start leaking back into the intake and that's gonna be like manifested by white smoke and smell from the exhaust. And if you really ignore that, it will eventually leak too much antifreeze back into the intake, it will hydro lock the motor. And in the motor, the motor will have a hard time starting in the morning and it will run like shitty for like a minute and then will clear. That's when you ignore it and it leaks for a while. As well as you'll notice the antifreeze, you'll you'll be missing a couple quarts to a quart like a day. Depends on the distance and the amount of hours you run in the engine. Um, and it has an inlet and outlet. Actually, this is the outlet because it's higher and that's the inlet of coolant. A coolant goes through the grid. It's like a radiator inside of it and in, in them holes the exhaust gas comes from the back you can see if you go all the way in the back you see the exhaust gas coming back and recycled so that's the EGR valve now if you see it green it's been replaced uh, if, it's seen, if you still see it red it's probably still the original one so as it goes this way it goes back to the intake uh, there is a sensor this is a exhaust gas recycled uh, sensor. And here is our EGR valve. So it's like the valve, it's like there is a diaphragm here and opens and closes. So when it closes, it doesn't allow any of the exhaust gas going into it. In it. When it pulls that way, it will let it go inside. And this here is the intake. As you can see on the side, that's the delta sensor. That's the EGR delta sensor. It's, it measures the difference of pressure from the intake side and the uh, exhaust gas side. Um, these are very notorious to cause problems and will send check-ins. So what can go wrong? <clears throat> what, go, what can go wrong with the delta pressure sensor on the EGR? is one of the inlet first of all one of the inlets may get clogged and you start having false reading it will send you check engine light and you will not tell if this sensor is bad or not first you need to do is take these two bolts i think they're both 10 millimeters and a connector off and clean them inlet um, a little wire uh, i usually take the wire a clothes hanger and cut it and insert it here it does work great for the egr uh, what it can go wrong is whether the motor goes bad or actually gets stuck open or stuck closed um, or non-functioning uh, as it should be. You have a check engine light and you will find out uh, removing this is so easy and simple. Yep, the injector's rail is on this side and each one of these lines goes to an injector. And this, these wires here, the very, the very top here on the cover, those they go to the injector commands. So that's on the um, intake side. There's also on the intake side a grid heater here. It's underneath. Um, if you're also concerned about other sensors, a closer look at the sensors on this side 
in the bottom you have the RPM sensor for the crankshaft speed and here you got the camshaft speed sensors up here and in the very top is the oil pressure sensor um, engine control module is right here and most of the um, these comes they have two main uh, connectors uh, you'll find a little connector here I forget the exact name for it but this is like an easy quick access for diagnostics just straight from the engine um, I usually use the OBD too so all the knowledge that I acquired are from commonsquickserve.com put in the comment below if you have a question about it so in the intake you have the uh, barometric pressure sensor um, it's right here you'll find it in all commons uh, it looks like a math sensor but actually it's designed to measure the atmospheric pressure and also the temperature of the intake uh, to send the data to the engine and depending on different altitude the, the bi barometric pressure will be different so you're also going to have a sensor at the very end of the fuel ramp it's the one in the very end there and that's for the pressure fuel pressure and you will also kind of find another sensor here for the intake pressure now the turbo is not old school it has a VGT a variable geometry turbo actuator and it actually can control the its job it's like a stepper motor in it and its job to control the flow it varies the geometry of the turbo and that allows it to control the flow of air or the boost